Hey, it's Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. We're here at Wolf Pen, and we are making our way up the Duncan Ridge Trail. We've got about 800 feet to go up in about eight tenths of a mile, so. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head in, go up to Blood, and see if we can find some azaleas popping. We've done this before. Um, so we'll see how it goes this time. Well, it's a bit of a climb just to get here. We can see some azaleas there, some red ones. Saw an orange one back there. From the road, I could see some uh, some laurels. Here's some about on their way out here. Gotta get my breathing right, because I got a long, long way to go. Good mile of almost a thousand feet, so. And what it is. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There's like a glitter on this. Glittering look. I can only assume maybe, maybe, uh, maybe snails or something. Slugs? I don't know. Very odd. Well, I got some orange there. These here are almost yellow. We're still seeing some laurels, which is good. And some sparse azaleas, which bodes well for what we're gonna see later, hopefully. Right now it's more climbing. Well, we got some orange there as we get to a break in the climbing here. Finally. We'll skirt the summit of slaughter here in a bit. Go around the left side. Very cool day today. A little bit humid, but not bad. Well, there's some kind of scat. Probably coyote, maybe. As we make our way here, should start on, on our little side slope of slaughter. Well, I stepped into this little camp area here. Look at here. More importantly, Look on it. <laughs> Somebody's glasses case. It's been chewed on a little bit. Reckon a bear got that. I was trying to see if it was worth eating. There's something else, ain't it? What it looks like. You reckon that bear was thinking, nobody uses real leather anymore. It's, it's really sad. <laughs> Had that been leather, he probably would have ate it. It's probably faux, pleather, vinyl, or something like that. So he's like, this is disgusting. And I suppose to eat it. It's for your sunglasses. Yeah, you know, some scat there. Looks like it's got some berries in it. Probably bear. And they were berries. <laughs> anyway, we're coming off that fault summit there where that camp area was and uh, kind of saddling over to, uh, I guess it'd be slaughter proper. And then we'll, like I say, we'll do the skirt to the side. Well, we can see some there. Get a little bit of a view here through the haze. 
trail getting a little bit growed over. Was back there, had to push, push some stuff out of the way. Hopefully it don't get no worse. Now these are a little bit lighter. We got these guys here. I'm not sure what these are. They kind of look like flycatch. Flycatcher, is that what it's called? The red ones, but those are white. Got some laurels. Beautiful laurels. You might say that they're hardy laurels. Huh? Huh? Anyway. Yeah. Very pretty. Got some some broad leaves there. Those are big, big leaves there. I don't know what that plant is, but he got some big old leaves. <laughs> All right, we're on the back side of slaughter here. About to make a little dog leg. We can go out here and then we're gonna zip back to our left and then zag back. So we'll zig and then zag before we get to the junction. Mercusa splits off. All right, here we're just doing some, this is just a little turns, but eventually we will come down to a zigzag. It's not quite there yet. Yeah, I'd forgotten about this rock here. <laughs> This little monolith as we start hooking around here to our to our left. These ferns are huge. You can see my hand on these. I mean they are big. What are the ferns? They got feathers right there. <laughs> And still making our way down the zig part of the zigzag. Well, it got pretty growed over back there. The trail bed itself was fine. There's just a lot of encroachment like this. This is actually a lot better than what it was just 50 yards back. 20 yards or so. This is why you treat your clothes right here because the ticks will get out on the ends of these little branches here. Wait for you to come by. So the cocktail party back there is a group of young folks. There's three different groups uh, coming down blood. So they were waiting at the intersection there at Duncan Ridge and Coosa. As we make our way across this little drainage here. Work our way up. Yeah, we've been seeing more. These here are just budding out right here on this tree. So that means that uh, we still got probably another week of this. So if you want to see it, next weekend's Juneteenth weekend. You might have a three-day weekend if you do. Even if you don't, hopefully the weather will be nice. You can get up here and see these. They are beautiful. There is a cool breeze. You can see the leaves rumbling here. Cool breeze coming up. And I mean, it's, <laughs> it's chilly actually. It's probably 10 degrees cooler than ambient. Probably makes it feel like it's in the 60s right now. I'll take it. We're almost to the AT, so we'll be getting up the slope of blood here shortly. All right, making our turn off Duncan Ridge. We took a little break here to get another battery into the GoPro. Start making our way up. Lots of folks coming through here. Of course, this is the AT, so and a bit of a hiker highway there. Up, up, up. We got some pinks up here, which is really nice. Good to see those. 
You know, it looks like it's going to be pretty prolific on the way up, so. Here's a few azaleas. Not nearly what I expected though. But I'll take these laurels. I thought I'd missed them. Oh, it's just awesome. There we go. Got some white ones. I knew I'd seen them up here before. Wow, really nice. Maybe we are in store for some, at least some. More and more of them. Laurels are making up for the lack of azaleas this weekend. And it smells awesome. And you can hear the pollinators. Hear them loud and clear. Didn't we go see the pollinators in 73? There's the privy. Ain't much private about that privy, is there? Yeah. And we're almost here to the summit. And there's the gratuitous shot of the summit. Time for a break. All right, headed back down. Saying goodbye to the laurels. So I think at this elevation, it is a little bit early, early for these, uh, for these flames. Uh, my last trip here, I think I mentioned before, was around the 19th, but the way everything else was early, I kind of thought. But you can see here, we're just below the summit of blood, and you can see these are just starting to bud, whereas another 500 feet or so down from here, we were seeing them relatively prolific. So, it is what it is. I would think next weekend is going to be a good weekend. Um, you know, it'd be a good time to come. I'm not going to come back because I got I got the laurels, which I kind of missed this year. I only got a few here and there on some hikes. Uh, you know, just timing with that, I guess, was wrong. But got them perfectly here for this elevation on blood. So you can see all through the woods there. And as we've been filming, uh, it's just been awesome. So I'll take it. Perfectly satisfied with these. They're just beautiful. I don't remember if I shot these earlier, but here are some right here. See a little cluster right here. So it's not without some. The laurels are really the, the showstopper at the moment. And they're just everywhere. Oh, this is awesome. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, we're back at our turnoff, Mr. Turnoff. Make our way back down Duncan Ridge.
one drop in elevation and oddly enough see plenty of azaleas like we did coming up yes it's just a little bit too soon but boy those laurels sure made up for it didn't they so here we've dropped just below the 4,000 foot mark and look at here this is one we saw earlier so that seems to be the kind of the D mark below 4,000 I think it's where there's starting to be pretty prolific you know they're they're starting to really go so yeah we're right about the 3900 foot mark here and we're seeing more azaleas i guess these would be more or less the early birds but we've seen them across coming across duncan ridge so kind of is what it is see them fairly prolific out through there it's like a rash of them out there so not so much on blood so this weekend it's been the laurels and they'll probably continue through the week uh, and i think next weekend you'll start seeing uh, those budding out those flame azaleas we did see that white one which was nice um, but for the most part looks like we're a week week early on the flame azaleas but hit it just right on the laurels which is nice I don't think I saw this coming in, but this is a pink one. And there's Bud, so this is, he's still got a lot to do, but there's pink all over this particular tree. There we go. I don't know if I'm getting that just right, but. And then we've got more over here. Look at that. Wow. All right, we're here at the turn off to Coosa Backcountry Trail. It's gonna go on down to Vogel, and then we're gonna share it heading up. We got a little bit of climbing to do. We get up and skirt the side of Slaughter, have a little bit of a saddle, and then we'll start a big descent down. Right now, I gotta, I gotta eat me a little bit of something or another. <laughs> Let's see if we can find this place out here in this camping area. I think I've done this before, though. Don't remember if I found a, a seat or not. But there's a little perch. Maybe we'll sit on that log. Another runner going that way. He had already come through here once. I don't know who he owes money, but it must be a lot. It'd take a lot to get me to run this place. So I think on my last hike, which I think was early spring, because I remember there were a lot of like white trillium or trillium type species of flowers all over the side slope um, on slaughter. But I may have mentioned in that hike that this camp area is where I ate breakfast when I did my Coosa backcountry loop hike. I had uh, camped with a guy over on Duncan Ridge road and then uh got up early that morning and uh made breakfast right here so finished out my hike down to vogel but we can hear the highway we're real close real close to the parking area just gotta get down the hill <laughs> well we got our blood mountain wilderness sign seen better days but uh that's a sign so to speak that we're at the highway we can just see old goby through the trees waiting patiently hopefully nobody broke in and got my hot wheels racetrack with the turbo boost you know what they called that round thing you crank it when the car came by and it shoot it out the other end i think it was called a turbo boost somebody correct me down in the comments if i'm wrong Anyway, we'll be at Old Gobi shortly. Well, there's Duncan Ridge to Blood Mountain. Azalea hunt kind of went a bust. We did see some on the way up, which is fine. It looks like the D Mart's about 4,100, right around 41, 4,200. They're starting to bud at that point, but disappointed that they weren't as prolific going up Blood. But man, man, those laurels were nice. <laughs> So I'm happy. Just wanted to get out. 
Uh, we've done this hike before, we've filmed it before, but I uh, just want to get out, see some flowers, and burn some calories. But right now, let's go home and maybe stop and get something to eat on the way, or maybe eat after. I don't know, we'll have to see. We get something to eat, you can bet on that.